Perth price growth has accelerated over the last year with CoreLogic data confirming the Perth Home Value Index has increased 18.1% in the last 12 months. Now this comes after CoreLogic revealed a divergence in its figures which had undervalued the Perth Home Value Index by more than 8%. Now this correction had pushed Perth annual price growth from 10.8% as originally reported in July to 18.1% in September. So let's get into all the details with this month's Perth Market Update. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to our Market Update video series where you can stay up to date with the markets that matter and find out what's happening in your local area. Now, REWA President Damien Collins has, has said sorry, the revised CoreLogic figures revealed the Perth price growth trajectory had performed even better than anticipated, which was welcome news for homeowners and sellers. Now, Mr Collins said, the turnaround of the WA market has been remarkably fast considering the downturn only hit rock bottom late last year, or last year, I should say. Now, we expect the recovery to continue throughout the remainder of 2021 and into 2022. Now, Rewa.com data shows Perth median house sale price was $520,000 in September, with 71 suburbs recording a price growth during this time. Now, Mr Collins said, it's very encouraging to see so many suburbs experience price growth in September. The Perth market recovery is widespread and being felt across all price points and sub-markets. Now, the suburbs to record the biggest price growth in September were Coolangup, up 4.5% to 320000 Bicton up 4% to $1.25 million. City Beach up 3.4% to $2.175 million. Spearwood up 3.4% to $500,000. And Harrisdale up 2.8% to $530,000. Now other suburbs to perform well were Wanneroo, Forest, Field, Leader, Coolbelup and Quinns Rock. Now there were 8,368 properties for sale on Reba.com at the end of September, which is 2% more than at the end of August. Now Mr. Collins said with the spring season selling now underway, we're seeing an increase in the listing stock as more sellers come to market. Now we expect listing volumes will continue to grow in the coming months as more West Australians choose to take advantage of Perth's strong price growth by listing their house for sale. Now annually, listings for sale are 21% lower than they were at the end of September 2020. And the median time to sell a home in Perth during September was 17 days, which is one day faster than it took in August and 11 days faster than September 2020. Now, Mr. Collins said properties are still selling very quickly in Perth, which illustrates a competition amongst buyers to secure a, high, a property remains high. Now, Rewa.com data shows the five fastest selling suburbs in September were City Beach at five days, Heathridge, six days, North Perth, also six days, and then Kingsley and both Ocean Reef at seven days. Now, other suburbs to perform well were Willerton, Bull Creek, Kubelup, Currambine, and Kinross. Now, Perth's median rent price has stabilised, holding at 430 bucks a week in September. And Mr Collins said, despite the strong competition amongst tenants to secure a rental, median rent price growth has slowed in Perth with the median rent unchanged over the month and up only $5 on a quarterly basis. Now, WA is the most affordable place in the entire country to rent, and it's important that we actively encourage investment in WA to ensure that we retain most affordable rental environment in Australia. Now, it took a median 18 days to lease a rental during September, which was one day faster than August and one day faster than September 2020. Now, the suburbs to record the fastest leasing times during September were Joondalup, 11 days, Harrisdale, 12 days, Thornley, also 12 days, and then Kelmscott and Clarkson, both at 13 days. Now, other suburbs to perform well were Halls Head, Piara Waters, Secret Harbour, Wanneroo, and Yokine. Now, there were 2,253 properties for rent on Reba.com at the end of September, and Mr Collins said, Perth's rental shortage remains a problem for the WA rental market. Investors must remain an active part of the WA market so there is enough rentals to house tenants and keep rents affordable. Well, guys, that is all from me today. Now, please remember to like, comment, and share this video. And if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week. And remember, guys, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference. That's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.